Hi friends, today we are here to discuss about the latest trends of IT industry, most smart and cost effective service offered to the enterprise client. Any organization which is looking to grow up in local market, national market or international market, they need to be in this service domain. After all this clue, do you guess what is the name of the subject? Yes, you are right. I am talking about the latest IT industry stint that is cloud computing. Today I will share a lot of information on cloud. As I told earlier, any organization who is looking to grow their business, they need to be in this domain. So you understand that the huge prospect underlying in this technology. This is the future of IT. Let, ex let us explore this technology today. Now today I am going to cover following contents. That is introduction and then I will cover the cloud computing definition and concept which will be followed by types of cloud computing and cloud computing framework and architecture. Then I will go through the implementing and managing the cloud computing then security and compliance which an organization need to follow to be in this domain and the evolution of cloud computing and some case study which I will cover in between any of the subject which will be suitable for that. So now be ready for gathering the knowledge on cloud. Okay, now first module which will cover the cloud computing definition and concept and also it will cover the types of cloud computing okay so now what is cloud computing what is the definition now I'm going through the definition I got lot of uh, definition uh, available in the market but which is the most suitable I feel I use here for you guys cloud computing is the method of running application software and storing related data in central computer system and providing customers of other user to them through the internet it enabling the convenient on-demand network access to a share pool of configurable computing resources example network servers storage application and services that can be rapidly provisioned with minimum management effort. Now I am going to elaborate this definition a little bit more so that you can understand better way. This is the technology or method by which we run the application and storing the related data in central computer system not haphazardly stored in my any local PC or local server but it has the provision to store in local server as well as the server present in your city or maybe globally accessible. The main point to store this data is this data is accessible to all the user who uh, require this data like the customer, like the user who are related to their data, those who have the internet or connectivity. It's enabling the convenient and on-demand network access to a share pool of configurable resources. This means this enable the user to reach to that sub stored data when it's required it's on demand and the resource which is also shareable like the um, hard disk space or the infrastructure the bandwidth that all shareable, through, uh, shareable infrastructure or resource they can reach to their data and that can be rapidly provisioned means whenever you require you can uh, increase or decrease the resource with a minimum management effort you need not to worry about how it's managed but you can scale your requirement or need as per your requirement so you can scale the usage as per your requirement or need so this is all about the cloud computing now I come to more details of this definition. Now I use it ubiquitous, ubiquitous and convenient. This means the infrastructure is rapidly available 
and convenient and easily reachable so that you can reach to your data conveniently on demand network access so whenever it require you, you can put this data on the network if you want to keep the data secure you can remove the access and you can also control the level of access right read write and only view share pool of configurable computing resources means one storage space can be accessible for lot of user one printer can be accessible for lot of people so all the share pool of configurable computing resources and rapid provisioning and deprovisioning as an example for your organization right now you need 25 mail id and after one week that another seven people join with you so do you going to increase more license for them software mail license or more infrastructure more storage space in if you are in cloud computing you need not to do any of them you need to send a requirement to your service provider and increase the mailbox and now the four people leave your organization are you going to carry all this uh, infrastructure with you no not required you can send a requirement or need to reduce your resource to your service provider and the cloud service provider will immediately stop the excess service so this is one of the beautiest characteristics of cloud now i am going to explain you what are the main characteristics we can have in a cloud computing which make cloud computing so demanding nowadays the first point is on demand self service means whenever you need the service will be available to you there is a preliminary limitation that you need to have the internet and the initial infrastructure then you can have the service whatever you require as per the business point of view next is rapid elasticity what do you mean this means you can increase the and decrease the usage of your resource as per the requirement you need not to reduce the infrastructure need not to increase the infrastructure as per your need you can increase or decrease your usage that called multi tenancy now major service that is the flexibility and scalability that i already uh, explained in uh, our last slide that whatever you need you need to use only that much of resource you need not to use much more uh, what is not required you can stop the service immediately whenever not need and you also increase your uh, service need whenever it's required so that's the reason it mentioned as a major service next is resource pooling means in a server there are two two group of people keeping their data like sales team and accounts team one day you feel that the sales team need much more data because the new brochure are going to publish whereas account team can do not need that much of space what assigned to them so in cloud technology you can rapidly reduces and increase the resource usage and you can pull the unused resource from other group and you can include that which group is required so it's become very easy to use the resource effectively so that's the reason we say that this is the technology we can call that resource pooling next is broad network access anywhere any place any time any device which can access the internet can get into your data it's possible only in cloud so it's not that you are in office and you can only get access to your data where whenever you in at office you can access your data from home from any part of the from client place and out station as well if you are a client of cloud computing so these all characteristics remove lot of barrier like the cost the it support guy dependency the it infrastructure cost recurring cost capex opex and effect it also increase the effective uses of it resource all this barrier so this is the reason cloud computing day by day is become 
one of the effective and mass sol most effective solution in the IT industry. Here I want to mention uh, one person like Vivek Kunjas uh, commit comment on this. There was a time when every household, town, farm or village had its own waterfall. Today, share public utilities give us access to clean water by simply turning on the tap. Cloud computing work is a similar fashion. Just like water from the tap you in your kitchen, cloud computing service can be turned on or off quickly as needed like at the water company. There is a team of dedicated professional making sure that the service provided is safe she could and available for 24 into 7 basis when the tap is not on not only are you saving water but you are not paying for resources you don't currently need very very open comment for cloud computing so i think now we understand what all about cloud computing now i am giving you some example like for everyone we have facebook twitter all social media they are running based on cloud computing yes wikis online games hotmail webmail dropbox and for business purpose also we can use cloud like for using of crm backup services erp financial etc now uh, friends do you understand before today discussion do you understand that we are on cloud when we are logged in into Facebook or Google Talk or Hotmail. Yes, friends, these all are coming from the cloud technology.